Hello, Seldon Les. Today is a great day to live for God. And if you haven't been living for God, today is a great day to start. Today from the scripture, I'm going to read um, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 2. Where Paul says to the Ephesians, I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. You know, all of us are a work in progress. And we can all remember a time when God has delivered us in one way or the other. For me, it's been, uh, I remember one one thing I can remember is 50 years ago, uh, God healed me from tubercul tuberculosis when I was 16. And um, I will always be thankful for that. And I always want to, uh, again, walk worthy according to what God has done in my past. And, and I'm sure you have examples of when you see God's hand at work in your life. And uh, it's, it doesn't matter how we've drifted away from God, how we seem like we've blown it in the past. It's never too late to start to try to walk worthy of what he's done for you and worthy of the calling that he has on your life. And you will, if you just surrender to him, and pursue that relationship with him and with other believers, he will help you to live a life that glorifies him. And um, in your love of him and your serving him and your love of your neighbors. And it's never too late, like I said before, to, to in or whatever you've done, whatever you feel like you've done, it's never too late to start over, turn over a new leaf, as they say, and start to live worthy of the call now we obviously we don't earn our salvation and the work that what we do the good works that we do and the love that we shed we show to others is because of the love that he's shown us already so uh take that word today uh strive to live uh to to live worthy of the call and keep your head up Amen. Our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth.